What's up everybody? Welcome back to the next adventure. I've been on the road for over a month now and I've been needing power to power my refrigerator, to power my cameras, to power my laptop, all that jazz. This is what's been doing it. This is a non-sponsored review. This is a true use one month review of the Jackery products that I have. I have a 100 watt solar panel and a couple battery packs that we will get into. And to prove it's non-sponsored, ironically, my solar panel here today quit working on me. So we'll get into it. So, as some of you may know, that I live in a teardrop camper full time and I'm traveling across the country and I need to use power for a small refrigerator that I have. I have a little Alpi cool. I need power for at night and cameras and laptops and you know, the normal things. I decided before to go on this journey that I would pick up the Jackery products. The reason why I picked up the Jackery products is because I saw them all over YouTube. People that do the same thing as Nomad Life, travel around and this is what keeps them going. So I figured it would be a great product to keep me going for my power needs. I was a little skeptical about having just a 100 watt solar panel, but so far this 100 watt solar panel has kept me completely charged up. Other than now that I've been in the Rockies with some trees, it's been a little difficult. I have to chase the sun a lot harder, but I was able to maintain and keep up. Super ironic that I was going to do this review video today and I've had this plan for like two days now that this solar panel today quit working. I don't know what happened. I was charging my 1000 watt battery pack. I went to pick it up because I was going to wipe down the front because it started to get a little dusty and it quit. That was the end of it. Uh, look at this footage here. You can see if when I bend it in just the right spot, that LED light turns on, that tells you that it's working. So something tells me that something internally of these panels have come apart, which is super unfortunate because they're only a month old. I tried to reach out to the company, but it's Saturday, so no one's working. So that means I have 30% left battery on my 1000 watt and I have I have a 300 watt, which is right here, and I've got 43% left on this. Running my refrigerator, I've got maybe two days on my 1000 watt, if I'm lucky, depending on the temperature out here. So I have perishables in there that I'm gonna try to eat as soon as possible. What really that means is, now that I can't use my solar panel, I'm gonna have to resort to my little generator that I've been carrying around when I run out of battery I'm gonna to have to fire up the generator and let it run to charge everything back up which is unfortunate because this is only one month old and it's kind of frustrating but it's the way it goes so now we know about the solar panel solar panel I haven't treated mistreated it by any means I've put it up every night to make sure it stays out of the rain and I, I've done everything you're supposed to with this thing so I'm kind of surprised it gave up on me this soon which is too bad but We'll see what the company does. Let's move on to the battery packs. So here I have a 300 watt, which is uh, the first one I picked up before I started this journey. I picked it up and I realized 300 watts is not gonna be enough power. So then I picked up a big 1000 watt, which is actually up running my refrigerator currently because I need something up there to run the refrigerator. And with these two battery packs, I'm able to maintain, I'm able to run all my cameras, my laptop, everything I need to do, I can do with these two battery packs. That being said, a 100 watt solar panel is on the fine line of not, be, of not being enough because if I had 200 watts, I think I'd be solid. This 100 watts been keeping me just fine. But come around winter time, I'm going to have a struggle of a time trying to keep power. Reasons being, you don't get near the amount of daylight. 
uh, now that I'm in the Rockies, I kind of have a little bit of that scenario going on because I've got hills, I've got trees, I've got all these scenarios, and this has barely, barely been keeping me going. So, with that said, I'm probably gonna have to pick up some more solar, but I will find out when that time comes in the winter. Thing is, with these battery packs, that's how I make my coffee. I, I, I do everything with these things because it's convenient and it's free. Free is the name of the game. Both battery packs are kind of set up the same. You have your USB, DC, and your AC, and then a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. This is just a use review. I'm not gonna go into detail on these because there's so many videos out there that go into detail. I don't need to. Um, I just wanna give you a real life scenario. One month, little over one month solid, I use the solar panel every day. I use these every single day. I use the big one every single day. And well, solar panel is the first to go. These battery packs so far are super, super good. I have no complaints on them. They, they hold up. Uh, there are a couple things I wish they would do is I don't know why they put a cover on this and not a cover on everything else because dust and grime gets everywhere. Um, that's one bummer. You can already see the copper on some of this in here turning green which is a bummer but so far they've been holding up really well another thing i don't understand how they call them explorers even with the solar panel in these they're not water resistant at all the solar panel is not water resistant i put it up anytime it starts to rain it's not it, it, it's they just came out with a 200 watt which is apparently able to put up to the elements but having a solar panel that you can leave out overnight and not worrying about if it's gonna rain is huge. Um, I don't know if they designed it because they didn't figure anybody would wanna do that or what, but leave it out overnight to catch the morning sun. I've done that a couple times, but I have to make sure I look at the weather and make sure that it's not gonna rain because it'll ruin the solar panel. Pretty annoying. I, I kinda wish I would've looked into that before I bought these. Um, I don't know about the battery pack, that's fine, so be it, I can cover this up. But the solar panel, come on, it can't be that hard to make it water resistant, but maybe they know something I don't. I don't know, I just, I know Goal Zero is a brand that has them that's water resistant, but the price is definitely up there. So maybe that's the factor, I'm not sure. But that's one thing I wish they would do, and sounds looking like they're working towards that, especially with the new 200. and. We'll see, hopefully they, they upgrade them. One other thing that I think uh, would be really cool is go to the BioLite website and look up their little solar panels. They have small solar panels to run just small appliances like, I don't know, cell phones, you know, things like that, super small, 10 watts, not very much. But they have a little sundial on it, which maybe they patent it, maybe that's why nobody else has it, but it, it's a little sundial that has crosshairs and a little circle. That way it tells you exactly where you need to point it in the sun. It is fantastic because if you own one of these and you've used it for an extended period of time, you know what I'm talking about. You probably gotten tired of staring up at the sun trying to figure out exactly where it's at. I don't know how many times I've taken this and just looked up and blind yourself trying to figure out which way I need to point it. It's a little bit exaggerating on my end just because I have done some testing and it doesn't have to necessarily be exact point. It seems like it gets a pretty good charge, pretty steady on all of the directions, even if the sun's like over here and you don't have it spot on. It seems like it's, it seems like it's pretty good and it'll pick up about the same load. But with that said, anybody that runs with one, you could probably relate how many times have you looked at the sun. Just say it. But yeah, overall, the batteries, great. This, one month of use, not so great. I'm hoping the company will back it up. So I'll find out on Monday and we will go from there. So basically, I'm gonna eat as much as the perishables as I can get rid of as fast as I can so I can turn the refrigerator off. Once I'm able to turn the refrigerator off, I can charge up these battery packs and I could probably last on these battery packs for four or five days pretty easily without having to keep stuff cold. So 
that's kind of a little quick rundown on my experience so far after one month like I said I live full-time here I've gone from Washington Oregon Idaho Wyoming Colorado and I don't know where I'm going next so I'm gonna be here for a little while because I got to get this figured out and I'm close to a town which I might be able to get it figured out in uh, so hopefully Monday I call them and they'll make it right oh if not it's too bad but I will give a future update in a future video and feel free to follow along if you like this sort of thing also you can follow my Instagram at uh, Bob's next adventure check it out I post things on there every now and again I figured uh, this might help you out don't discourage buying these products uh, it has been good it's been a good product I, I maybe I just have a lemon I don't know um, I don't want you to steer away from it because it's good options there's other options out there but I'm just giving you my my real life experience with this product and up until today it's been great and I literally was gonna make a review video about how great it's been I came up with this plan two days ago and ironically today well you know the story by now so if you have any questions go ahead and post them down below and I'll I'll get back to you and I appreciate your watching hopefully this helps you out and on to the next adventure